Okay, today I want to show you a little bit about basic furnace diagnosis. Alright, usually with a furnace you have a sequence of operation. Um, the first thing I want you to check is make sure your thermostat is set to heat mode. The system switch is on heat. And you have the thermostat turned all the way up. Um, the other thing I want you to check is make sure your fuse or breaker is on. And the switch on the side of your furnace is on. Or wherever that switch is. Okay, if you walk up to your furnace, um, this is basic furnace repair. I'm going to assume you don't have electrical gauges, uh, you're a homeowner, flipper, landlord. Um, the first thing, if you walk up to your furnace and nothing happens, you have no furnace um, action whatsoever, I'm going to want you to look at your um, Transformer. That could be the problem if you have no furnace function and you have no system light. The system light is right here. I'll turn it on real quick. If you don't have that on, um, your transformer could be bad. Or also, some computer mods have little fuses in them. You can look in that fuse. Usually a 3 amp fuse. This one's right here. It's right there. They need to protect your computer more. Make sure you check that. Um, computer more is usually pretty uh, normal. So are transformers. Okay. So, in your sequence of operation, the first thing that's going to happen is your draft inducer. It's going to, this is right here, that's going to power up. Once your draft inducer powers up, it has to prove that it actually is running, which is in these little gauges here. Um, it's here, here. This one's been replaced. It's just laying here. That proves the draft inducer is running. The next thing that's going to happen is, once the computer realizes the inducer is okay, it's going to go ahead and allow the furnace to turn your niner on. Now your niner is back in there, and we'll see that in a minute. After the igniter comes on, uh, after so many seconds, the computer will, as long as all your safeties are good, turn on the gas valve. Um, gas valves are pretty normal and usually don't go bad. There's a switch on there, make sure it's on, but besides that, they're pretty normal. Once your murders come on, at that point, um, your flame sensor will prove that you have a flame. And if you know, it'll shut it down. Now, the flame sensor in this one is back in here. You can see it right here. That's your flame sensor. Okay? So, let's let the sequence of operation go. The last thing that's going to happen is your blower motor is going to come on. If that doesn't come on, um, I, I'd probably not do a professional to, to replace your blower motor at this point. But let's have the sequence of operation go and I'll show you how it works. There's your new sir. Now you're switching and pruning yourself. The computer will tell the furnace it's okay to light the igniter. The computer allowing the gas valve to come on and power up. 
the next point, the flame constant, such as flame, that allows the burner to stay on. And after the furnace warms up, your blower matter will come on after six months of operation. Okay. Now for troubleshooting, the first thing you want to see is your gas inducer, of course. Um, if it doesn't come on, um, you could energize it by the wires going to it or test for your motor heater. But this is the first thing that's going to happen. It's going to run. Okay, so if you have motors here, which you wouldn't know, you can have a gauge, but you couldn't energize this. If it comes on, it's not your problem. Um, the next thing, if your neutral is running and your furnace isn't coming on, take a look at your switches. Alright. Um, not. It's probably the next problem that it could be. Go to your lines, make sure these lines don't have any water in them. Make sure they're nice and clear of water because that can keep your switches from coming on. If your inducer is running and your furnace snow is not lining up. Um, you're going to want to go to your igniter. If that does not glow, it probably is a problem. If your igniter glows and your your um, miners ignite and they shut off immediately after a second or two. That's usually a flame sensor, and if it, if that's what you if that's what happens, you could take this out and clean it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Take some steel wool or some sandpaper, clean it up real good, put it back in, see if that solves your problem. Okay, that is your basic function. Um, your furnace. Uh, one other thing I want you to check is make sure the furnace is draining. Make sure this isn't full of water. Um, there's another one in here. Take these apart. They actually come out to the side here and drain. Alright. Make sure they are um, no water in them because it's actually causing a problem to And if another problem you could have is you could have a block vent when your vent pipes can be blocked. That's also an occurrence. It uh, rarely happens, but it could be. Um, I left, actually, I left the first thing you should do for last. Um, the first thing you should do is walk up to your furnace. And you have a sight glass right there. Look through it, and there's going to be a number cup. Oh, manufacturers do it differently. But if you look at your numbers, one flash, your system got locked out because it's trying to fire up too many times. Two, two or three, you're having a problem with your pressure switches. That could be water in your lines, it could be a switch, or you might want to check your vents, make sure they're not blocked. Um, that's what that could mean. Uh, make sure your
have trouble shooting your furnace. One other thing I want to show you on your circuit board here. If, if you have your furnace, everything works except your fan doesn't come on. You could um, try to switch one of your wires in there. Um, try and try at different speed. One of these wires here. Um, it actually had it marked on there. Which one's heating? Alright. So you can try to switch one of these. Trying to put a different speed on. It might power up. Or it could be a max capacitor. If it, if your fan doesn't come on, you probably need to call somebody out to fix it. If you feel you have a problem with your thermostat, go on this low voltage terminal board. You can jump on the R and the num U with the jumper wire. And that will turn your furnace on and leave it on indefinitely. So you can uh, jump out your thermostat. Okay, and that's the, uh, the basics on the furnace diagnosis. Um, most parts are available online if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person. I recommend, highly recommend you order, if you're going to try to maintain your own furnace, I recommend you order a flame sensor, an igniter, and one or two of these switches to have on hand. Those are the parts to go mad most of the time. Uh, most of the igniters, every once in a while, flame sensor. And the least popular is probably the switches as far as the top ring up. And that is your basic operation of a furnace. If you wanted to look at your furnace and see if you can uh, diagnose it on your own. Okay, and that's about all I have to say about uh, your furnace repair. So, good luck. Don't forget the simple stuff. Because that's usually what it is. It's usually not the major. It's usually simple. And uh, make sure your gas valve's on too. I don't know how it just shut off, but you never know. So, thanks for watching.